are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. Lamar, what's good, bro? What's up, dude? Yo, thanks for coming through, <laughs> yeah, dude. Thanks for I having appreciate me. it, man. Sounds like a wrestling intro, right? Yeah, I have my my buddy's in a metal band, and he made yeah. it for me, and oh, like recorded yeah. all the like him saying like Gorecast, and then yeah. he like put it up at Gorecast, you know, yeah. like, make it fucking like all pitched sure. it all weird. Uh, my my podcast is called Panties in the Mouth, but I'm not on it right now. My friends are doing it without me because they're still in New York. It's until they move down, then we'll start. They're going gonna move down. Again. Yeah, nice. But we got to figure out a. Uh, a new intro. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I would love a metal. Panties in the mouth. Dude, you know I'm like there. That. You know I can <laughs> record some shit. Let's go, dude. You know I'll record some metal <laughs> shit for it. <laughs> Panties in the mouth. You know, like, something dude. like that, dude. Panties in the mouth. Panties in the mouth. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we got. We can layer it. Panties yeah. in the mouth. Panties in the mouth. You can yeah. have like a highs and the lows together. <laughs> yeah. Zach, hey, you got some pipes on you too, like, man. Come on, dude. Just the metal kind. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The one where you don't have to sound good. That yeah, one. yeah. Or you could do like a Judas Priest, like uh, panties in the mouth. You know, like the high pitched eighties metal. It depends yeah. on what era you're going for. Panties dude. in the mouth. <laughs> I'm looking for why is it, fighters. Why did you guys come up with the name? That name, panties Uh-oh. in the mouth. Because uh, the other hosts, Nate Marshall and Andy Malafrena, we started comedy together. And uh, when we first started comedy, they had an argument where Nate was like, you can always put panties in a girl's mouth. And then Andy was like, sometimes, dude, not all the time. And they had an argument for like two weeks that almost ruined our friendship. (laughs) (laughs) Over whether or not. So like during sex, you put a panties in the girl's mouth? Yeah. Nate's like, you put them in there. It's always works every time. And. Andy That's was a like, bold move. What if she got stuff in there? Like, it yeah. might not work. <laughs> like, braces or something? No, I mean, an underwear. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. She you know how women have crusty underwear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> women Ooh. have the flakiest underwear. <laughs> she knows She knows based on, like, uh, what kind of day she was having, whether yeah. or not she she's like, you're reaching them up, and she's like, oh, oh, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. This was a Frosted Flakes day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just went. I went on a jog and worked a full eight-hour shift at the at the at the restaurant. I don't yeah. think today's the best day to yeah. eat those. Today's nickel day. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, thanks for coming on, bro. Yeah. Welcome to Austin, man. Yeah, it's been fun. How, how's it been since you got here? It's been crazy. Uh, it's been fun. I haven't. I've only done comedy really <laughs> and yeah. hung out with you. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, and man. That BBQ that day. Oh, was dude. Nice. Yeah, shout out to yeah. Interstellar, man. That was that yeah. was awesome. Did you nap hard after that? Uh, I took a big dump. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. I was that was my laying, next question. Yeah, big dump. Laid down. <laughs> Put you right out. That's the yeah. recipe for a good a good slumber. Yeah, dude. BBQ yeah. and a dump. Yeah, awesome. especially since I was like black out the night before. <laughs> what would you do the night before? The creek in the cave. Oh <laughs> yeah. shit! I was at the creek in the cave and lost control. Hell yeah! You've been going up all over the place. You've been at yeah. Mothership a couple times too, huh? Yeah, just for the Shane and Matt shows. Nice. Yeah, I bet they like having you out here and shit too, right? Yeah. Oh, Matt Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The boys. The Sean. boys. Yeah. Hell yeah! Well, we're glad to have you here, man. Well, just, thank you. Yeah, every everybody in the comedy scene that I've talked to is stoked. To yeah, they're well, like Blue Mares here now. <laughs> So everybody, yeah, I hope I could be better, <laughs> dude. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I want to get, I want to get good. Yeah. How long you been doing it? Like ten years. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, ten years. My one year to year ten. Yeah. <laughs> it's this, okay. That's why I hang out with everybody. I'm just trying yeah. to like learn and pick up. Yeah. Learn from other people's mistakes and shit. You yeah. Know? I got to get better, but oh, you just right. it, it just takes dude. time, bro. Yeah. It fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember like eating shit for the first time? Uh, like eat. bombing super, like your hardest bomb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was in a, it was a restaurant in Baltimore, like a, it was a big sports bar, but they had a spot where this, this lady was doing a show. Cause like in comedy, there's people who are like, I could put on a good comedy show, but they don't know anything about comedy. You yeah. know, they're just like, all right, I know how to get people in a place. So, uh, but I don't know, whatever. I was on the show. The host did like 15 minutes, went over his time. He wasn't getting any laughs. <laughs> He brought me up, and then uh, they had a DJ, and he was playing Rick Ross. Oh, man. <laughs> he played Big Meech. It was like, all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course. And then, like, uh, and that threw you for a loop. For yeah. a, you're like, God damn it. I was like, I don't, come on, man. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I got up there, and I went, hello. And everybody was like, what? <laughs> hello. <laughs> that you played like this gangster intro yeah, for you. Yeah. You're just, hey, guys. Hello. I'm a fat guy. I'm sad. <laughs> and they didn't like that. I did like three minutes, and then the host was like, 
<laughs> like tell wrap me it up, B. Yeah, like yeah. the like the wrap it up Wait, button. What? Yeah, wrap, wrap it, it up, B. B. Yeah, he hit the box, dude. <laughs> yeah, he hit the, the wrap it up box. Dude. <laughs> he hit it. Wrap that shit yeah. up, B. I am the man. Yeah. And then uh, I got off, and then he did another. I I didn't get any laughs, and then I did, uh, and then he did another ten minutes of no laughs, and then somebody else came up, and then I was like, whatever. I'm gonna go to an open mic in Harrisburg. These people don't. These people don't get me. <laughs> and I drove to the open mic in Harrisburg, and then I bombed again. Oh no! <laughs> the legendary double bombing, yeah, dude. Yeah. Then I had to drive an hour and a half to my house, just like, come on, man. Why do I want to do yeah, this? This yeah. fucking sucks, oh, yeah. dude. <laughs> I've had many. I've had a few of those drives. Yeah, for sure. The notorious double bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, dude. It's the worst when you like do good at one place and you're yeah. like, yeah, I fucking got this. I, you know what? I think I might have a chance Dude, at this. I then, am Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> I am him. Yeah. yeah. And then you go to the second place and there's like way more killer people there and you're just like, uh, like oh, I've, I went to Creek a couple times after like this little open mic at Lucky Duck. Mm-hmm. And then uh, have you been over to the Lucky Duck? No, yet? it sounds fun though. We should go tonight. Yeah. What we time could, is it? It's it starts. I think it starts like eight or nine or okay. something. We should we could go tonight if you want. Yeah. Would... I'm gonna try to get over there, but. Um, it's just a weird environment. It's like when you get there, you'll see how weird it is. Like yeah. you're basically sitting like down, or you're standing down from where like the picnic tables are. They're yeah. like raised up like two feet, and so you're talking to like people's knees. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. And you're like, hey, like, yeah. you know, what if dudes shed their dick skin like snakes? You know, and they're like, what the f- I'm drunk. Yeah. I'm not listening to you. Yeah. And there's other comics like, boo, yeah. <laughs> bring out the lions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Bring the host back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like a gladiator pit, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Last time, last time I was there, and I should have been able to roll with this, but there was like uh, this comic. I wasn't booing your joke. No, 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 <laughs> okay. no. I, it's all good. It's not a good joke yet, so it's it's, it's boo worthy. Dude, I like it. What if you could like shed your dick skin like a? Yeah, that's that's like the, a, you could get any type of like disease then. You couldn't. Well, you could, right? Oh yeah, because that's what they. That's I learned from researching that to write this joke that like yeah. they shed their shit off to like to get rid of parasites yeah. and shit and i was like because everybody thinks that it's to make to grow <laughs> yeah. like to get bigger Bro. so there's like a big dick joke in yeah. there or like my dick's growing joke yeah. in there and then like a fucking std joke yeah. in there can you imagine and, having crabs being like not anymore <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, would, I don't think that would work for crabs though <laughs> oh wait because they're not infesting your dick skin you know they're kind of in your dick hair yeah you know? but like if you're getting rid of the skin you're getting rid of the hair oh okay yeah you shed the whole hair off yeah. i like that because yeah. it's t- follicles and shit i don't right. know <laughs> My thing is it would be, like, the point, I mean, I don't, I guess I'll just give away the joke, doesn't matter. No, wait, but, no, you don't gotta give away right, the joke. Alright, alright, alright. If, right. uh, if you don't have, if you don't have dick skin, because snakes, they don't have skin. Right? So you would have to have, like, dick leather. Like, like dick scales? <laughs> yeah, dick scales. <laughs> It's like a, a snake skin dick, dude. Yeah. It puts a lot of interesting imagery in your head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, a lot of new dildos I need to make for money. Yeah. Yeah. Someone gave me a tag that like dudes are so disgusting that like they would have dick skin all over their apartment and shit. And like a girl would come over and you'd be like, oh, hang on, hang on. I got to just clean my room up. Yeah. And he'd just be throwing dick skin in the wastebasket. Just in a bag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, no, hang on a second. No, yeah. no. Sorry. It's, my place is a mess. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> dusting. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's like, let me let me just uh, do a quick Swiffer, um, <laughs> yeah. a dry a dry mop. Um, well, uh, do you rem- how long did it take you to get to a point where you were like crushing and stand or like you could kill? Like, are you still working? Are you still getting there? Or yeah. You feel like you you feel like because I I'm, I'm still I still haven't felt that like no I'm like still I still haven't there. felt like I did a good job ever when yeah. I get, like when I if I I've done like okay then like a yeah. little bit better than survived a couple sets yeah. but then I'm like. I'm like I watched Michael Ridley or somebody get up there and just murk. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, dude. Nah, dude. Someday, <laughs> someday. When I'm be- forty, <laughs> when I'm forty and bald, I'll be funny, just like all the other guys. You know what I mean? No, nah, dude, that hair's gonna be here forever, brother. Thanks, dude. You got a luscious mane. It looks like it's gonna last. Thanks, bro. Yeah, uh, we should switch hair for a day. Dude, see what you happens. Don't, it's bald up here. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Is, that's really that's balding. That's no, not just because yeah. of the. No, it's balding. I got to get rid of it. We got to get you on the hymns, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you on the on the dick. They sell dick pills and hair Ooh, shit in case yeah. you're balding and your dick doesn't work. Like <laughs> they got both solutions. The sad motherfuckers <laughs> clicking those links, dude. Yeah. And why am I getting those ads? You know what I mean? Everybody like, gets them, dude. I know, but it's like, damn it, what have I what have I clicked on that got me this like <laughs> yeah. di- are you balding and does your dick not work? You know? It's like, how did you know my hair is a part of my identity? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. Yeah. My <laughs> hair and my hard dick are a part of my identity. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like, you're gonna need those. Yeah. You know? And times two. 
ticking, buddy. You know what I mean? You better get on the hymns. It's almost done. Yeah, yeah. it's almost time. Wait, is Lucky Duck uh, in Austin or outside of Austin? It, it's right downtown. Because I want to do, I want to start doing more stuff outside of Austin, like in Buda and shit. Yeah, like cool suburbs. Yeah, because nice. it's fine. Austin's fine. It's just too loud right now. If there's a lot going on out yeah. there. Yeah, Did you say Buda? Buda, yeah, B-U-D-A. Do they have anything in, like, Waco? I want to go to Waco. Let's go to Waco, bro. You want to go to the Dr. Pepper Museum? Somebody told me there's a museum of Dr. Pepper, bro, where they... Bro, I'm telling you. So they, they pipe... Tony, we might need to look it up here and just get get it on the TV. This but, isn't, like, a list of notes. This is a list of things I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't, this isn't like, funny joke ideas. It's Dr. Just, Pepper Museum. We got to do that one together. I'll, we yeah, need dude. to go. But, yeah. uh... Figure out what happened to David Koresh. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. Yeah, that's, that's him. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. The guy from the yeah. evangelical. What was it? What were the Branch uh, Davidians? Branch Davidians. Yeah. I always thought like they could make a barbecue place in Waco and call it Davidian Barbecue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was, like just as a joke, yeah. dude. Dude, I want to go meet one of the people like that survived. Yeah. I don't know if you do want to meet one yeah, of those I people. Do meet what one what of would you like, ask him? Like, the fuck was your problem? I would no. be like, I'd be like, so how big was David's dick? Dude? Yeah. I, mean, big, yeah, I gotta know how yeah. big Jesus's disciples' dick was. Yeah. Were you one of his fourteen-year-old brides? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Were you pregnant when you were eight? You yeah. know, it's like, dude. That's it's crazy. so crazy what they did to those people too, because they Who, like us or no David. What what the ATF did to uh-huh. the people in that building because they like shoved they rolled up with these tanks that had gas like uh, mustard gas in yeah. them to like try to get them get them out get the them rooms. out yeah. and so they they bust in the like rooftop windows or something yeah. and blast this gas in and then like somehow it got ignited yeah. in fire like well, I don't know it was a gunfire or something cause ignited because he, he had stuff in there he he wasn't he, Koresh I think he had stuff in the walls. Like oh, I think, cause explosives like, or something? cause he was going to light the wall. He was going to light everything uh, on fire. So he like gasoline. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he tried to kill those people. But no, but that I was always was, the last resort. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like nobody gets out of this thing. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine coming up with your own militia, the Taylor, the Taylor Gang? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It would all just be dudes that don't know how to shoot guns. I don't think it was. I don't think it's. Yeah. I'd be like, Michael here. And he'd be like, oh, shit. You know? I've only been to the range like one time. Tone, take the gat. Yeah. Yeah. Tone. Tone, take the gat. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, let me easy. You know, dude, here's the t- Get him with the Glock, dude. dude. I know. I like shooting. I got to go to a gun range. Dude, we could go to Lockhart and that you get like the full Texas. Uh, experience because you can go to like the oldest bar that's like the home people say that it's the home of texas barbecue like that's where that's where it started so they have all this like like these places have been around forever that that they still do shit like the old way like this one (laughs) this one place has the pit inside the fucking building yeah like it's like the only place in texas that's allowed to have the the, the wood burning where do i get all the slave barbecue yeah yeah. (laughs) (laughs) where can i go find those guys (laughs) They they were doing things right. Yeah, are you know they in I mean? Lubbock? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. Aggies, right? Yeah. yeah, dude. That's where that's where that Texas like you know everybody thinks it's like all over Texas, but it's yeah. like no, it's just West Texas, yeah, and South nah. Texas. No, we did go to a pub the other night that felt really weird. It was me, uh, Chris O'Connor, and his lady. We went to a pub called the Saxon Pub, mm-hmm. and we walked in, and everybody just like looked at us, and we're like. We're trying to listen to some music. <laughs> it's not there. It was a but bunch yeah. of white, white yeah. bu- hunt, country bumpkins. Yeah, call it an Anglo-Saxon pub. Yeah, come on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't no. from around here, <laughs> yeah. are you, boy? No, everybody was bumping <laughs> into us. It's like, all right, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, what's up? We'll fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we're not. It was a, uh, it was a guy. The guy playing there used to play with John Cougar Mellencamp. Oh, nice. And he was shredding, dude. He was shredding. It was awesome. His little ditty, <laughs> Jack Knight. Dude. Dude, John Mellencamp low key slaps. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. Oh, okay. I thought you were. I just like that's his name. Why, that's I just why like calling him the Coog. The Coog. The Coog. Dude. The Coog. Coog. Yeah. I wonder if anybody called him that, like in the high Coog? school, dude. Of course. They had to call him Cougar. Dude, he got there it. was the, he, there was definitely jokes about him banging his friend's mom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the Cougar Hunter. Wasn't that that song you were singing? Isn't that what that is about? <laughs> uh, probably Jack and Diane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he, Jack, my best friend, and Diane is hot fucking mom. mom. Yeah. yeah. His little ditty about Jack and his. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> uh, she was really fine. Anything, everything I know about John Cougar Mellencamp comes from the Bonfire. Uh, the Bonfire—it's a radio show 
on Sirius with Big J Okerson. Oh, I don't know. And it know. used to be Dan Soder, but now it's Robert Kelly. They're still Kelly. doing it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's been around for like 10 years now. It's pretty sick. I'll check it out. I should know that. I love it, dude. It might be my favorite podcast, <laughs> favorite show on radio. Bonfire XM. You can Sirius only, XM. Can you only listen to it on No, there? they have a podcast version on YouTube, on Spotify, okay. and they just got the YouTube channel. <laughs> Damn, they're late to the game. Yeah. I'm always, I'm still wondering how, like, the, how the, like, XM thing is, how long that's going to be happening. Because when you hear something, it's like on XM, you're like, really? <laughs> yeah. So I have to have a, my dad's new car to listen to this <laughs> that I that he pays for Sirius yeah. XM in? Like, you got to think about, like, all the truckers, though. Like, that, those are the guys true. consuming that shit. It's like, truckers, man, take some of that weed, sir. Oh, yeah. Here, <laughs> spark it up. It's not the, I hand rolled it, so it's not the best. It's okay. I can roll it backward better than I can roll a joint. It's weird. Yeah. I can't, my fingers, I can't do the little tiny. Yeah. I okay. wish I had more weed, man. Joints? Like, I let, every time oh, I see fuck. it back, I want to twist. Oh, did something fall out? Right, yeah. Know. Can I? Come on, dude. We, we, we use this. You don't gotta use. We can use this joint weed if you want. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> this? I don't. I guess if you want to, you want to re-roll it in the back one. So yeah. Do it. Is do that it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that enough? Right. This is yeah, just. This dude, is all this I have probably, right now. This is probably more than enough, brother. Sorry, bro. I should have known. Dude, don't fucking. Should have had more than weed. Should have had more weed for you. There you go. I, I have been. I've been getting pretty proud about this. I think I'm going to take up Texas weed reform. That's going to be my whole thing. Yeah. Because uh, Texas weed, it's ass. Well, it no depends, offense, yeah. brother. I got to tell you. I'm from Oregon, dude. You're speaking, oh, okay. You're pretty, I used to own oh, a weed farm you in know Oregon. then, dude. Yeah. You know. Well, I actually get, I think the people we get it from yeah. is like, it's this delivery service. I'm not going to put their name out there, but it's yeah. this delivery service that it, I think they get their stuff from Are they called California. Sinaloa? <laughs> no, no. They get, I think they, they, they get all their shit no. from California. Can you cut that out? <laughs> yeah, I don't we'll, want to get killed. <laughs> yeah, we'll, bleep, we'll bleep it out. Do you really want me to bleep it out? We'll bleep it. Is that a, no, is I don't that think, a gang or something? It's a cartel. It's a cartel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the world's most no, dangerous cartel. No, it's not from them at all. Absolutely not. We have no affiliation. Um, no, yeah. I'm so afraid to talk about the cartel in Texas because they can it's, get me, too. Because they're close, actually. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's fun and games when you're in Philly, right? Yeah. Talking shit about the cartel, but yeah, like, here it's like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I saw uh, Andrew Callahan from uh, Channel 5 News. Mm -hmm. He just put out a new uh, episode on Philly, and he, he explained that Kensington, the part where it's like the zombies and stuff in Philly, okay. it's actually like a proxy war between china and the cartels what yeah because the car china gave fentanyl to the cartels to mm. like uh destabilize america <laughs> to, make us, to kill us all yeah honestly <laughs> to destabilize america <laughs> to destabilize portland oregon and or? to be fair fair game dude yeah. <laughs> like you gotta be good move good move yeah good. game recognized game china <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that shit works dude yeah yeah because you can yeah, they'll put it in the cocaine, you know? It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And yeah, and then there, now there's this new drug that everyone's doing in Philly. I can't, it begins with a T. I think it's called like Trank. Oh, it's Trank or Trock. But it's actually just horse Trank. It's legitimately. Trank, tra uh, T-R-A-N-Q? Uh, yeah. Tony, will you look up Trank? I think trank? that's called what it's called. But it's legitimately horse tranquilizer. Great. And people that's are taking it and they're getting they look gross, dude. You remember uh, crocodiles? Yeah, yeah. When there's holes in their face and shit, yeah, and their bones yeah. showing and stuff. Yeah, that's what it is. It like open. It opens people up. Trank, like Trank. Do trank drug. Uh, Where's it? Kensington zombie. There it is. Yeah, wounds. Social wounds, dude. Uh, you might have to put a. Is this on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. These wounds are. We're gross. not monetized. I don't know. Oh, okay. Matter, <laughs> I don't know. You, you have to teach me your YouTube shit. I don't. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm still new to shit, man. I'm, yeah. You're, this is episode forty one, bro. Oh, we're well, we're, thank we're, you. we're we're we're. We're a young pod out Dang, here. Dang, dude. dude, you Thanks guys for are doing it, growing bro. fast. <laughs> guys, We're doing fucking, shit, man. Yeah, let's go. You got a damn stew. <laughs> yeah. I got to figure out this. I got to do a podcast. I start doing well, let me thing. know, bro. This is, you know, my space is your space yeah. and shit. If you, need, some, well, if you yeah. need a spot to do one, I know you got people too, but. Yeah. This is sick. This, yeah, turn this, the volume off. Yeah. Okay. Distressing yeah. images. That's yes. Kensington. That's where all the stuff is in Philly, the bad news, the bad drugs. They might pull this if we show this YouTube thing, just because no, it's another like, YouTube video, yeah, right? Yeah. No, you should be fine, okay. but you skip through it in no volume, and it should be good. <clears throat> I'm like, dude, how bored are we getting in America? Like, we have everything. Life is, like, pretty good for a lot of people. Yeah. And then it's like, we should start doing horse tranquil. I think what we need to do is, like, and then, like, fentanyl, it's like, let's make heroin stronger <laughs> and, like, more easy to die yeah. from. You know, because, like, the world is not... Scary, scary enough, enough. Yeah, yeah exactly well dude look at these oh, wounds. No! that's from trank 
It like cuts. Oh, you, oh you, my god! After a while, it's like chicharron, dude. Yeah, after a while, you have to like amputate your leg because it's like a what? It the like a fuck? you can tell because it gets like really swollen like that. Like that's where it starts, and then it starts to like start to the vessels start to contract. Cause it's not, they're not supposed to feel pain. Like, oh, God. but that shit, yeah, it's brutal. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! It looks yeah. like <laughs> they look like they're wrapping it up in foil to go. Yeah, damn, bro. But on the on the on the Channel Five News thing, this guy Andrew looked- Callahan said that uh, Philadelphia Kensington is uh, they're using it as a proxy war for the cartel in China because China figured out a way to sell powdered trank. So they can sell it directly to drug dealers. But before the cartels had a, like a hold on the whole market. But now, anytime in Philly, like a uh, there's a anytime in Philly, like somebody gets a drug dealer orders powdered drugs from China, they're getting murked like immediately by the cartel who's yeah. just like, "Yo, dude, kill this guy, take him out." That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. The cartel shit is wild because I feel like we like in America. Do you we, know what we just happened of, with we, them? We, no, they just took over. Uh, Venezuela, not Venezuela, Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah. Ecuador Somebody told got, me some yeah. shit was going down in Ecuador. Yeah, Ecuador just got run, taken over by the dang cartel. What happened in Ecuador, Tony? Not taken over, you just know? like run Can over. Can you look it up? Sorry, we're putting you to work right now. I'm Tony. sorry, dude. Tony's just trying to chill, man. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know how to. I don't know how to talk about new. I want to be a geopolitical guy, but I'm not smart enough. No, but that's what <laughs> the people want. The layman, the like, like regular dudes take on fucking, yeah. you know, news shit. Because it's like we're all regular dudes looking at it. Yeah, know? it's worse if you try to like, you know, put glasses on and being like, like you know, do 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 yeah. tonight with Lemaire. Yeah, so you know, like, today I talked to the guy who sucked Barack Obama's dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Turns out his Michelle Obama is a man. Turns fact. out. Big Mike is actually correct. <laughs> I think it's funny that no, like I actually would never think that about Michelle Obama, a beautiful baby queen. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful baby queen. Yeah, come back, maybe show. Come back to me, Michelle. Please, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never do it again, Michelle. I promise. I wonder. Uh, baby, please. <laughs> yeah, baby, baby, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just don't, I just want to feel those big hands on me Come one on, more man. time. Touch my shoulders. Palm my head like a basketball. <laughs> Baby, please. <laughs> Baby, please. It's Barack. Yeah. I didn't mean to kill the, the chef. Baby, come on, baby, please. <laughs> I didn't mean to drone strike. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's it, dude? Yeah. What I don't, I don't look into the politics stuff enough. Yeah. What is everyone's like? All the people that don't like Obama. What are the beef? What is the beef? Because I, I always thought he was like, kind of a G. Dude, he's black. <laughs> well, besides the obvious, no, I mean, like, yeah. what's what, what's the? Uh, you gotta find like when somebody. Well, he's kind of bulletproof. Like when you're when you're black and bulletproof, they're like, uh, he was not born here. Yeah, he's gay. <laughs> oh, he's, <laughs> he's gay. gay. Yeah, yeah. They just went for they yeah. went for schoolyard. You don't even go here. Yeah. They went for like schoolyard yeah. disses. You know what's crazy? If he's gay, who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, what if, is it? What does that mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> like the man, the the man is is poised and can speak and led yeah. the, led the country well, and he can suck a dick. Damn, mm-hmm. this man has everything. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's why Putin hated him? He was like, he's gay. Yeah. Equ- oh yeah, they're at war with the drug gangs. It's a emer- state of emergency. Right Ecuador's now. at war with drug gangs. President says we yeah. cannot give in to those terrorist groups. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm really yeah, bad at dude. reading shit. So. Uh, that's crazy. There's it's going to be crazy. Shit. It's going to be the cartel's going to they're going to start All right. I'm afraid to say this. I don't know why I'm afraid to say this. I feel like Alex Jones. Listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like uh the people are going to start taking out the cartels. Like countries, they're going to start trying to like get rid of them. Yeah. Uh because then the pharmaceutical companies can just sell the drugs directly to the consumers now. Mm. Yeah. That's deep. And they don't need to have it come out of Colombia. I was going to say, because isn't it like, don't we just do white collar cartels here? You know what I mean? Like, aren't they just, isn't it just like, isn't it just like billionaires doing yeah, being the cartel out farm, here? Like, uh, not pharma. Uh, Pfizer and Pfizer, shit. Pfizer, Pfizer, yeah. those guys who made Oxycontin. Oh, yeah. That family. Did you see that I can't about the I can't remember the name of the family. But yeah, yeah, I didn't see the movie. No, there's like, well, it's like a mini series, like yeah. a drama series, drama, do- oh, docu drama on, uh, on I think it's, Netflix. It's called like Pills or something. It's like yeah. Painkiller or something like that. And, like, on Netflix, right? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. so. And with the guy, a, like, it's with a guy. It's with a guy. It's with a guy. Who? He's like a guy, not Nathan Lane. The guy that's always with Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. I don't know. Matthew Broderick. Oh, is he in that? Yeah, I think yeah. he's in a suit. 
Oh yeah, and yeah. he like, but like the one guy falls and like hurts his back, and then, yeah. and then they're like, go on TV and tell them how oxycotton changed your life, and she, yeah. he's just like a dirty pill head, yeah, getting in dirty. fights with his wife and shit. We all know we all. I know. need it. I need it. <laughs> Where's the pills, honey? Come on, you bitch. Yeah. You move the pills. <laughs> and then after you take the pills, I'm so sorry, baby. Like, yeah. Yeah, sure, you know I'm addicted to stuff. Please help me, baby. Michelle, you. baby, come back. I'm Michelle, sorry. baby, please come back. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Crush up them pills with them big hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the powder. Yeah, bro. Uh, oh, Big Mike! You, I mean Michelle. You know I love, Michelle. You, I love those hands. Um, so how long you been doing uh, like podcast shit? Because you said you just smoke weed and do podcasts like full time, mm-hmm. like all the time, right? Mm-hmm. I, so part of the thing I when I have like my friends on that are like photographers and like artists and shit that just do shit full time. I, I I know there's a lot of people that are out there that are like working jobs they don't like, and it's like I always try to like give a, get an experience from somebody where you know we could give them some insight on how people like make shit their full-time <coughs> job or something if they just want to do something fun like podcasting or photography or some shit yeah. like that like when did you when, what, were, what did you do before you uh you were doing this stuff full-time we'll i did a there. lot of things <laughs> i did a lot of jobs <laughs> what, what are some of the shitty jobs uh i was a web designer that was pretty cool it wasn't that's, that that's a cool job video editor that was nice. all right pool cleaner um, <laughs> pool, a pool boy. Yeah, a pool boy. Was there any pool boy sex uh, like no. fantasies that would that would happen? No, it was. I, I like. I worked for. We just cleaned the pools. Okay. And I. Uh, I did a. I, they made me a lifeguard for this one place towards the end of the season where it was just an old folks home. But I don't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I was like, "Are you a good swimmer, nah, Loki?" No, nah, I was learning how. But it was like a. No, I didn't have to you like. Were like Guard learning how to swim. <laughs> I still don't know how to swim. I just, you had, just to, had to throw him the hot dog, right? Yeah, it was like six feet. It was like the most five and a half feet. Okay. Like, and I just mostly helping. It was one guy. It was like one guy I had to help in and out of the water. And I talked. I became really good friends with another old guy. I think his name was like Lenny Marcus. I hope he's not dead now, but he might be. But I do remember becoming really good. We went to a comedy show once in New York. That was pretty, we went to the uh, Carolines before it closed. It was nice. He was cool. Nice. He wanted to hang out. I took him out. I was like, all right, Hell dude. Hell yeah. You saved his ass? Yeah. We are gonna. We hung out to like 12. I was like, all right, dude, we're hanging out. Did you, like give, him, did you give him mouth to mouth? Like, was he Indian? No. Like, what's, he's, why not, he's not dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> we were just talking. We were just chilling. Old nice. people are cool, dude. Some people, some old people just need a good time. Right. They don't really get to go out that much. I always think about this when I'm talking to an old dude yeah. that, like, he probably doesn't get treated like one of the boys very often. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's always, yes, sir, excuse me, can I hold yeah. the door open type shit? Yeah. Instead of just like, what's shut up? up, dickhead. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah. or just like, what's up, dude? Yeah. You know, like, just like, what's up, man? Yeah. Like, you just treat him like a, like he's your age, you yeah. know, and just like talk to him like you'd talk to one of your yeah. boys. And I feel like whenever, whenever I do that with somebody, he's like, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. hell yeah. I'm yeah. one of the boys again for a minute. You yeah, know? dude, I, I love still got it. with old guys. Old guys got the best stories. The knowledge. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> the experience. Well, maybe and also, knowledge. sometimes they, like, if you talk to a, if you, like, become really good friends with an old guy, they might admit something that you really didn't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> like what, dude? Like, I don't know. Did Lenny Marcus give no. you <laughs> No. I mean, like, uh, no. Like, uh, there was a, one, there, I can't remember. There was a story a little bit ago about this lady she found out somebody in her family was a murderer or something, mm-hmm. and then she was like, "I'm gonna go snitch." And it's like, "What, you bitch! <laughs> like, how dare yeah. you?" Yeah, yeah, I Dude, don't know. I found out that one of my uncles, like after he passed away, it, I found out that uh, he had two wives that died, oh, that, no. that that died falling down the stairs. Oh, simultaneous same stairs? Uh, no, different houses. <laughs> but but uh, it but I was like, I'm not gonna put him on a blast or anything. But it, it was like, we were like, uh, my family was explaining this to me. Yeah, well, he had his wife passed away. She uh, how'd she die? Oh, she fell down the stairs. And it's like, oh yeah, oh, and his other wife died. And I was like, oh, how's that happen? Oh, she fell down <sighs> the. And they were like stairs. <laughs> yeah, you know, like yeah. they they had never thought about it. And yeah. I'm like, nobody said anything about this for for years. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't actually this one. I just put it. Yeah, I uh. I uh, have a dead girlfriend, and I'm very afraid of having another one. Because <laughs> then, if another one, another girlfriend dies, everybody's gonna be like, "Yo, he's a murderer." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, something's fishy about Lemire. Yeah, why Lemire's... is why are all his girlfriends dead? <laughs> <laughs> don't date, don't date that guy. No. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. You gonna get back into the dating scene out here in Austin, bro? You got or do you have a girl back in Philly? Yeah, I have a lady. 
we have a <laughs> we, we don't have, have to talk about it. We have a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We have an agreement. We, yeah, we. Uh, she's going to come down and hang out sometimes. Hell yeah, soon. yeah, I love yeah, it. yeah. We're cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. She's actually a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> she's down. She's yeah. cool. Hell yeah, bro. Um, so you worked as a pool boy. Oh, what yeah. else did you do? Uh, school photographer. Took you pic- taking pictures yeah. of kids. That's not weird at seventh all. Seventh grade, eighth grade, sixth, seventh. Nice. Eighth so when school. did you get into photography? Shit. I don't, know. Don't I don't know. do. I don't you do, don't do photography. <laughs> I needed a job. You don't swim and you don't do photography. You, you get all these jobs you shouldn't have to. What's next? You're gonna be like a surgeon, scalpel. Yeah. Like I shouldn't be here right <laughs> oh, now, dude. Fuck. I played Operation a couple times when I was a kid, yeah. but like you can't touch the sides. I yeah, can't you touch can't. the sides. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> hey Tony, will you go grab that little Yeti can off my desk in there yes, with the did. with the cap on it, so we can uh, have a better little ashtray? It's fucking can shit. It's Poverty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's yeah. like sixth grade, dude. Yeah, just that's how I live, the can, dude. dude. Yeah. I'm about to turn into a fucking damn. You just have like seven <laughs> Mountain Dew cans around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't I, drink yeah. out of that one. That one's yeah. no, no. That one's still going. It's a, just a day old. It still's got flavor. I mean. Dude, I still fucking yeah. I have cans and an ashtray around my computer. <laughs> so I can just like uh, whichever one's clue. If I'm smoking with this hand, ash it over here. It's the ashtray. Oh yeah. No, I am trash. So when did you record like your first uh, podcast though? Like when did you get into the podcasting thing? Oh, all right. My first. I've been doing podcasts for long. Me and my uh, my first podcast was called uh, Words from the Attic. Words from the attic. Yeah, and it was me and my brother, and we would just like just go up and make. We just do improv. <laughs> really, that's fun. Yeah, dude. it was oh, so yeah. fun. That's why I'd want to do that again. We, I, <laughs> I used to do like radio, like a fake radio show on like yeah. a little recorder. Yeah, with just my friend, like a little cassette recorder with yeah. my buddy. We'd stay up. It was we called it Mike and Tom in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> Mike you know? and Tom. And we, in the we were like little kids. We we would interview. Like one of us would be interviewing uh, yeah. the other guy, and he would be like a character. Like one one time he was like Doctor Evil. Yeah, and we were just it was <laughs> yeah. just like improv shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it was like I started doing this, and then he like commented. He's like an old friend from middle school, and he commented. He's like, bro. It's so sick that you do this. It's just like Mike and Tom. Like, oh yeah, we did. He's totally did a little ra- fake radio show. Yeah. When we were little kids. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's all funny, dude. Uh, it was so fun because I remember we would just go upstairs and just talk crap. We it was literally in my grandma's room, like upstairs room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me and my brother, we, we had our friend say bad uh, words and shit. Yeah, yeah. we have a friend Steve Sudia come over. And he was the hobo king of Hoboken, and it was just the, <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. Where was that? Is that in Philly too? Uh, no, that's New Jersey. The New Jer- or, yeah, well, I know Hoboken is, but yeah. I just didn't know if you, you, you lived in Philly your uh, whole life or not. No, originally from Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then there was a I did another podcast after that called Weak Joke Strong Men, and that was with my friend Mike Boyer. Okay. And he, uh, we. <laughs> We convinced a guy. I think we convinced a guy to get back on heroin. What? That's horrible, dude. How did you? We didn't convince. He probably him. didn't take much convincing. Right? We didn't it's fucking con- heroin. Yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're just like we're just like uh we're just podcast. I'm sorry. I'm oh, you're good. We're just uh we were podcasting. And we were like, who should we have on? I was like, we should just have people like you know Tosh. How he just has people on. I was like, we should just have like dudes on. Let's have like an ex addict on, and just ask him what it's like. <laughs> and we did. I mean, and that's then, just actually that's pretty like high level if you think about like a pot for a podcast yeah. idea that's actually pretty dope yeah it was fun it was nice it's like that one guy that talks uh to all the tweakers on skid row yeah whatever that is yeah i what's don't know that? you know what that's called no. i forget what that's called but me and my uh we uh we also yeah <laughs> after that podcast he, he used to work with mike that's why we knew him but after that podcast uh Mike was like, yeah, he hasn't been to work in a couple weeks. I was like, oh, fuck. You guys reminded him how much he loved the game, dude. You guys reminded him his of his love for the game. Yeah, he was like, I've been out like a couple months. I was like, oh, fuck, months? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have you like tell us your stories about your heroin glory days. Yeah. Dude, um, the whole two time, months after rehab. I think I was going, sweet, sweet heroin. <laughs> <laughs> So tell yeah. us, do you miss that sweet, sweet heroin? Because <laughs> I happen to have a spoon I right here. To, yeah, you yeah. need a lighter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and this was like, that was before I started smoking weed, too. Uh, you were just like a good boy? Yeah. Nice, yeah. dude. Were you a super good boy? Yeah. Nice. I used That's to awesome. only drink Red's Apple L's. <laughs> What's Red's Apple L? Oh, <laughs> the like little apple cider? Yeah. But those, those are alcoholics still, right? Yeah, they don't have them anymore, do they? 
Do no, they not exist? I and I think I, I think I, I was looking. My buddy came on the podcast. Yeah. And he doesn't really drink, but he only drinks Angry Orchard. And I thought that mm. was the funniest shit ever because that's like, it's just such a lame yeah. thing to be like. Dude, I think only Angry Orchard for me. I would get fucked up on Angry Orchards. Reds yeah. is a specific like, it's like a. It's like, the, it's like the malt liquor of apples of hard cider, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like the steel reserve of hard cider. Dude, I remember when they came out with the rosé, fucking Angry Orchard. You oh, yeah. remember that? Oh, yeah, I hit, the, I hit those a couple times. Ooh. They would always come out with the holiday, the holiday one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like broke as shit. You're like rosé. <laughs> it's like I'm no, rich. that is Angry Orchard, dude. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, weak joke, strong man, um, and then. I did another podcast after that called La Mer Talks to the World, or La Mer, mm-hmm. yeah, Talks to the World. And it was just me talking to people by myself. Just, it was ran- right. just like ran- regular people? Just comics and friends. Yeah. Just like making that happen. Oh, that's basically what it is, what this show is. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. <laughs> yeah, I did another one called Alt Black with my friends Brendan Mitchell, Brandon Mitchell, and Keen Cobb. And that was just about being like nerdy black guys. We were all like different types of blacks <laughs> <laughs> i know that's funny I know that's wait funny. a minute there's different types <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was fun that dude was... i bet yeah and then panties in the mouth panties in the mouth yeah uh and is that does that have like a is that just like a, a hang or yeah it, literally okay, we just sweet. smoke and drink dude the, <laughs> yeah <dope>. yeah <laughs> so they're all gonna move out here and you guys are gonna do the pod here oh yes nice yes dude. are you excited about that yes i'm so Fuck excited yeah, dude, dude. Me, yeah, we haven't lived it? together since like we haven't lived in the same town since like Lancaster. Oh shit! So we've just been hanging out and just coming back and driving to each other. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. PA is cool. I went there. I went to Philly for the first time, uh, like a year or two ago. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I just fun. I just wanted to hear that accent, like a thick accent from yeah. somebody. And we went to this diner after we played a show, and uh, this lady's like, you know, like I can't do it. You, yeah, yeah, you, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How Young's doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, can I get you? Yeah, yeah. Dude, Philly's that was a good. good. Yeah, uh, you know, pancakes yeah. are good. They was like, it's weird. They had everything. Yeah. They had like Philly cheesesteaks, pancakes, fried shit. It was like yeah. they have fucking everything at yeah. this place. Get like, the pancakes. And then whenever you're at a place like that, where you're like. You're like, is any of this good? Yeah. You know, like, do you guys yeah. do any of this shit well? Or Ooh, how was it? It was, it was all right. Uh, it was nah, good. It wasn't know. as good as De Los No, did you go to? Uh, I, I think I know what diner you went to. It was near one near the bridge. Maybe yeah. it wasn't. It like had a blue neon sign. You were in Delco. That's where you were. Maybe yeah. that's where the accent lives. You were like in the okay. home of the accent. Dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is that close to Ardmore? Because I think yeah. that's where we were at. Ardmore might not be Delco. It might be. Montgomery. It was like County. right in that area. I don't know. They hate each other. Delco County and Mountco County, they hate each other. Really? Because they kind of sound alike, but Montgomery County's rich, so they're like, really? <laughs> I would never be from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's always, a, it's always a rich versus poor thing. I think I had one more podcast. No, I'm doing one. It's called Angles. Angles? Oh, and I'm on another podcast called Potty Slam. Uh, <laughs> Potty Slam? Yeah, because it's about it's a wrestling podcast okay. it, from uh, from BodySlam dot net, the wrestling website. Uh, me and the main editor Cass Cassidy, uh, we talk just talk random shit, and we're bringing that back soon next nice. week maybe. Out here? No, we uh, just do it on remote. Steamyard and YouTube Live. Okay. And then I have another wrestling podcast I'm making called Angles. Which like uh, which like is a, I just break down wrestling stories like it's history. You're big into wrestling. Yeah, I love nice. pro wrestling. You'll dude. have to teach me, get me into it a little dude, bit. One really? of my best friends is like I'm the guy that's really into UFC and yeah. he's really into pro wrestling. Yeah. So like, <clears throat> I'll watch all. We'll watch all the shit you guys with each other. Merge. <laughs> yeah. Well, and he's like, and he like he doesn't. I don't. He's from back home in Portland, but he's uh he he'll like break everything. So this guy fucking beat this guy. Yeah. And like it's kind of the same with my shit too. And I'm like, dude, Tony Ferguson used to be really sick. And dude, like, do you want me to like that. uh yeah? Do you want me to explain you like a story in clips? Yeah, dude. We all can right. pull up some wrestling. Do you shit? like uh? Well, yeah. You might have to watch. Tony, the- are you a wrestling guy? Yeah, he used to be. Yeah. yeah. Who was your guys? Uh, Chris Jericho. Let's I go. Um, Rey Mysterio. I like Dave Bautista back in the day. Let's go. Uh, Rock was always funny. Uh, what's his name? Randy Orton. The fucking Randy uh, Orton, the Viper, Legend Killer. Yeah. What was his move? The uh, RKO. RKO. Yeah, yeah. That shit was awesome. So you like the O three guys? O three, O four, O five guys. Yeah, that was guys. my time. Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Booker yeah, T. Yeah. Good shit. Gold, Goldberg, Gold Dust, Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Gold Dust, yeah. yeah. All right. 
Do I was a wrestler for, ha- for Halloween this year. Who are you for Halloween? Well, people had people. I forget his name because I'm not into wrestling. Yeah. So people said people have told me I look like like my face looks like one of them. Yeah. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I forget. Okay, but that's why I did it. I was, uh, I was, what's his uh, name? I can't remember. I was going to say if you pulled up a guy, if it's a guy I know, I'd tell a story about him. Um, it was uh, fuck. Why can't I think of the guy's name? Long blonde hair guy. There's a lot of those. Oh, Edge. No, Shawn Michaels. No, I remember if I hear it's like Christian, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Triple CM H? Punk, Triple H. Triple H. Triple yeah, H. People, say, like Triple H. People, people say that. And I, obviously, hear? I don't look like a wrestler. <laughs> I look like a, I look like uh, a regular fucking dude. You can't really show the stuff on YouTube, uh, the WWE, because they'll pull you down. Yeah, you, they'll come after you for real. You can't. You could play. You can't play the sound either. But you can play a little bit of the video. But uh. Triple H, I was just talking about him last night because he had a storyline where he was defending his world championship against Kane. And uh, he was like, Kane's sick. Let me show you a video that I got, that I got, I received about Kane. And it was Kane having sex with a, uh, <laughs> a corpse at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Triple H dressed up like Kane. <laughs> like he's like trying to make a blackmail video yeah, about him or yeah, some shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude, wrestling was so like out of pocket Dude, some of the shit yeah. that they would say and do. Like they they posted recently like I just saw this thing going around of like the whole or Hulk Hogan, I think, maybe yeah. saying like a bunch of racist shit to one of the or Ric Flair. Rick it was like Flair. Ric Flair like saying a bunch of shit to this other like this black dude and it was like damn dude, yeah, like, dude it was wrestling, the 80s. <laughs> race, wrestling went in dude it was the 80s dude wrestling is a little racist <laughs> it's a part just, of it just be prepared for that yeah okay. like all the all the black guys all the new black guys in wrestling are like if they're not hood they're african <laughs> You, 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 you got two options. You yeah. want to be in the WWE. Yeah. Remember Kofi Kingston? That's my guy, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he used to awesome. be fake Jamaican. That's <laughs> the first episode of my podcast of Angles. Mm-hmm. That's what it's called. The first episode is going to be about uh, the first series episode is going to be about Kofi Mania. Wait, he was he did a fake Jamaican accent? Yeah, for the first for the start of his career. <laughs> yeah. Can we hear some of it, or will they pull uh, us down? No, you just uh, look up Kofi Kingston vignette because then. Uh, because he hasn't done a vignette in a long time. <laughs> what is vignette? What That's is just it? like a, when they show a debuting superstar, a returning superstar. Just oh, a, like a when The Rock comes back or yeah. something like that? Yeah, and it's like just that. like him on the Titan track. Oh, like, it's like a, like a highlight thing. Kind not of even like a that. highlight. It's just like teasing him. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. It's like a, The Rock will return next week. I don't know why. I. It's like out of all the things that I got into when I was a kid, like you would think wrestling yeah. would be one of the things that I would have gotten into, but my friends weren't into it. Uh. Actually, just search Kofi Kingston Jamaican, because <laughs> like it did, it did, because he changed it and he pretty changed. He pretty much got rid of it. Triple H was the guy who helped Kofi get rid of his accent. He was in the ring. They were talking. They're doing like a it was DX versus the world or something. And then Kofi was like, "Hey, everybody, we gotta be okay. We gotta be together." And then Triple H was like, "I got a question." What the fuck happened to your accent? <laughs> and he was like, "What? Huh?" <laughs> was like the story that he knocked the accent. Oh, out that's of him it, or right there. Kofi loses his accent. <laughs> oh, nice. It's on yeah, Facebook. Yeah. Maybe we can actually watch it. Uh, yeah. This is it. This. <laughs> Like, I did he I, actually I, forget? Did he just actually I forget? I think he actually did they, forget. And then they just <laughs> yeah. rolled with it? Yeah, like, and Triple H called him out. Was that's like, pretty funny. What the hell? <laughs> but I say, that reveal, he's actually from Boston. <laughs> 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 he's from Boston. His family was born in Guy, Guy, Ghana and stuff. Kofi Kingston's, yeah, he's one of the best. Uh, it's about Kofi Mania, the first episode. Kofi Mania is when he became the WWE champion for the first time. It was very beautiful. He was the first black <laughs> i don't know i don't know dude he was literally the first african-american champion <laughs> yeah. like wwe champion has has wrestling like avoided going like woke at all do they have any like weird or do they have it, they i feel like there should be like a woke wrestling guy that like then that just gets beat up all the time well, or there, like they should troll him or something. yeah there was a uh, for a little bit um aw is kind of the woke organization <laughs> the woke wrestling organization mm-hmm. why is that uh or like how so? Well, they're more they're more like inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not I don't know. Not even inclusive. It's like a they have a more diverse I don't know. It's not even about that. It is the it is the uh 
It's just the way their politics, the way they politic. Oh, okay. The politic like a like a woke organization. Like paying for wrestlers and stuff or like No, like uh just the way like if something happens, the way some the way if something happened, they would act Oh, like uh, a Ukraine woke. or some shit. Or like uh like if something happens backstage, like with a wrestler and uh they'll be like, All right, everybody's wrong. Instead of in WWE they'll be like, Who makes the most money? The guy who makes the less money is wrong. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works though <laughs> like, <laughs> is there is there like a era of wrestling that is like universally regarded as like the the golden era of re- of pro wrestling or is it just do wrestling fans just love like everything for its own reason no right now we're in a boom uh, maybe another golden era kind of because everybody's coming back and like they the see how like it's bulletproof yeah and they see how <laughs> bulletproof wrestling is like it is in the like entertainment thing because people like, people like leave wrestling. Well, there's people coming to do wrestling to become bigger stars, like Logan Paul, right? The Rock, <laughs> like, but like you know, pretty crazy what like Logan yeah. Paul's done with the wrestling. Team. Yeah, he's pretty good at it. He does like crazy backflips and shit. Yeah, and like, <laughs> yeah. damn. Yeah, he jumped. Him and a guy like jumped off the turnbuckles and mm-hmm. met each other half crazy across the ring. It was crazy. So there's like all these crazy stars that are coming yeah. from all different, from Hollywood and from YouTube yeah. and shit. And becoming bigger stars for being yeah. in wrestling. So it's not <laughs> like a, wrestling's in a boom. This is a good era, but the Attitude Era is the one that everyone's like, this is the best. This is one like, uh, it's in the early, late 90s to early 2000s when WWE was like, who gives a fuck? Let's do blackface. Let's show some tits. Oh my like, God, really? Bra and panties matches. Yeah. Is that Vince? Big yeah. Man? yeah. No, well, it was like. The N-word? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> he said it to John Cena? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. And Booker T was right there. <laughs> it was shit would never last today, bro. No, it, it will last. It'll it's last. It's art. It's a performance. It's art. I get, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't believe wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. At, yeah. At least, at least there's that. That's the saving grace. Oh man, I love it though. Yeah, I I, I want to get more into it just because it's fu- it's fun and it's fun. This is the perfect it's just time. People having fun, dude. The Royal Rumble is coming up, and then WrestleMania is right around the corner. This is the perfect time to become a wrestling fan. The Royal Rumble is the best match of the year. It's the best. It's the most fun pay per view. Yeah. Ever. Royal Rumble. Yeah, that's the one where thirty people go into the match. Oh yeah. And the battle royale. And they have two of them now. They have a girls one and they have a guys one. Oh shit! So they have two. Is Rousey still wrestling? Ronda uh, Rousey. I know she's from the UFC, right? I think she's wrestling for the other organization now. Oh. Uh, she might be training for UFC 300, though. I think. No way. She's yeah. gonna come back. I think she's the coming UFC? back for UFC. The UFC That's 300 crazy. is gonna be big, dude. Do you, I feel like they're they're slowly. Dana's slowly kind of. Mick trying to mix in some like red, like huh. the whole like uh, Sean. You follow the whole yeah, UFC yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. The whole like uh, Strickland Duplessis brawl that looked so fake. Like he was literally hitting yeah. him with like fake wrestling yeah. elbows and shit. <coughs> and you're just kind of like, but I like that. Yeah. I, I think like the whole like gym nerd like way of looking at the UFC yeah. is kind of like, well, well, do you want the sport to be like super popular and successful yeah. and shit? Like, I don't know if they end up like figuring out some way to combine them but wwe is a powerful influence and the ufc would make a lot of money from not having their stars injured yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah i mean they still have to keep the contact real to keep well i mean yeah but like oh you mean like outside of the ring no inside the ring remember there was a match this year that was a draw where everyone was like no way ufc i think it was an alexa grasso championship match yeah Last year. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't Sometime know last year. Of my head. I can't remember. I'm like a little more than a casual fan, but yeah. not like I'm not like some people like fucking savants. <laughs> There's a little yeah. bit left. I can put it down now. My, uh, yeah, you can just yeah. put it down. My, my, <laughs> my buddy uh, is like, he's so much knows so much more about me, so I always yeah. go to him with stuff, and then he'll like he'll change he'll like he'll ch- make me think away about a person like get hyped on him yeah. and then like the day of the fight he literally always changes his mind he's just yeah. like fuck that guy he sucks he's yeah. losing and i'm like what we you just got me <laughs> yeah. all hyped about this dude yeah and now we're not on team that dude dude no it's the walkout the walkout changes everything oh, that's yeah. you should only be able to place your bets during the walkout yeah yeah because the walkout if you watch the walkout that's when you're like oh fuck this guy's about to win like you oh, can bro, tell. like colby yeah was so shook when he no. was in that was so bad dude also i i was thinking there's no there's no like scary there's very few scary champions in the ufc now like yeah i don't john jones doesn't count uh 
Volk, Volk's too small to be scary. No offense, Volk. Like, <laughs> yeah. No offense, Careful, dude. Bro. But he'll, like, he'll drop you, dude. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. And I'll wake up, say it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just too small, bro. Yeah, you're too small to be scary. I'm That's sorry. Funny. I love Volk, though. Uh, it's unstoppable. Yeah. Hazmat's pretty scary. Hazmat is the scariest one, yeah. probably. The scariest actual one. Yeah. I like it because he doesn't always fight like just boring like yeah. me, where he just jumps on people and lays on them. Yeah. Like, he does that a little bit, but he's also will stand up and yeah. kick you in the head and shit. Yeah. And, like, and Pereira's pretty scary too. Pereira yeah. might be the actual scary. He's the scary, <laughs> yeah, scary yeah, champ. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And his like record is scary. Yeah. And, dude, the whole story about him and Izzy is so like almost wrestling like. Yeah. Where like he beat his ass in kickboxing. Yeah. And then like Izzy's reigning supreme up here, like yeah. on yachts and shit. And yeah. then out of nowhere the boogeyman comes yeah. hit, comes back from his old kickboxing <laughs> days and just fucks his whole dude, shit it's up. Rocky. <laughs> it really yeah. Exactly. It's fucking you ever watch a uh, uh, Creed three? Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Creed three is I, basically I gotta like watch that. it. I wanna it's, watch No, it kinda stinks, but it's okay. But I wanna watch more like I haven't even really seen like the Rocky movie. Like yeah. I'm really bad about movies, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm just I just now yeah. this year I watched Die Hard yeah. and uh, Home Alone for the first time. What'd you think? Die Hard was fucking sick. Yeah. It might be the six still like one of the sickest <laughs> yeah. movies because because Bruce yeah, Willis is such, dude. <laughs> he's such a shit talker, you yeah. know. And then but he's he's fucking with him the whole time. He was such a shit talker. He was such a shit dude. It's sad what happened to Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, imagine dude. being one of the most legendary movie stars of all time and then forgetting yeah. all of that. Can you imagine, like, that's the consequence of being in front of explosives your whole life? Is that what it's... Can you look up the Bruce Willis thing real quick? Because I got to know... I want to know exactly what's happening to yeah. Bruce Willis. He because like fucking, it's like a crazy, like, rare form of dementia where he, yeah. ha, he and he's basically... Like, I guess we'll find out. In a he has demented CTE. Condition, dude. Bruce Willis condition, maybe, or something like that. But it's like, dude... You were in so many epic movies. Willis' family previously stated in 2022 he had been diagnosed with aphasia. Nearly two years after Bruce Willis' family announced that he was diagnosed with aphasia, his family now says condition has progressed much more serious. Uh, Frontotemporal uh, dementia. Yeah, click on that really quick. <laughs> that's sad, bro. Yeah. I, that's like I'm not even that afraid of like dying. I'm like afraid of fucking forgetting you forgetting live, forgetting like everything yeah. and everyone I know. Because yeah. like one time I did mushrooms, and I've talked about this before on the podcast. It was like one time I did mushrooms and uh, and f- like we did like I did like a whole eighth, and I completely freaked out because I forgot like my name and like all my friends and like what my favorite color was and I like yeah. what shows I like. I forgot everything about me and I was like, fuck. And so I just like went and buried my face in a pillow and then I came I came out of it out of a nap and I was like, Okay, oh my God, I got it all back. Yeah. And it was like ever since then it was like, damn, you gotta you really have to take the little shit. Yeah. Like like not for you you can't take the little shit for granted. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Because like, I had a moment where I literally forgot I thought I forgot all that stuff and it was gonna last forever. And I was like, fuck I'm, this fucking sucks. Yeah. It's crazy. Frontal temporal dementia, according to the nonprofit Academic Medical Center, Mayo Clinic, uh, frontal temporal dementia is an umbrella term for a group of brain disorders that affects the frontal and temporal. Okay, cool. Thanks. I could I could have could have figured that out. Damn, dude. He lost his personality. He can't Ugh. speak. It's just like me and with the mushroom trip. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. What a legend. Dude, we were just talking about that movie last night where or a couple nights ago we were at a bar. I was at a bar with some comics. Yeah. We were talking about uh, uh, that movie where he uh, – pull up uh, The Kid, bro. You remember The Kid? No. Where he uh, he comes – him from the past comes back. He's like an asshole business guy. Yeah. And uh, his self from the past comes back. And it's – I think it's kid. one of the most poorly casted movies <laughs> because Spencer Breslin does not look like a yo- – the kid from Cat in the Hat does not look like a young Bruce Willis. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like – no, why is he a chubby? Oh, because like he's this. like a chubby kid. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, he's like Bruce you know, Willis. I'm, I'm you from the past. It's I have me, seen Spencer this Breslin. Movie. What's up with that kid? What's we he, love airplanes. What's he doing now? I don't know. We're Spence, gonna find out dude? in a second. Remember yeah. they like box each other and shit. Yeah, this movie was good, dude. It I was actually it. back when Disney was making good shit. Yeah, wholesome, good. Remember wholesome Bicentennial movies. Man? I think that was oh Disney too. I don't remember watching it. I remember it. I remember it was on a purple DVD box, right? Yeah, but yeah, blue. Here, look up Bicentennial Man. I don't know why that's the only thing I remember about it. Just type it in the search bar and images or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, New Stony. No, I'm just reading it. <laughs> IP 
That movie was funny though. He's basically like his self from the past comes back as a kid, and he's yeah. like, "Stop being a fucking dick to yeah. everybody. <laughs> yeah. You're a dickhead." Oh yes, I've seen this movie. Yeah, dude, with yes, Robin I've Williams. Seen this movie. And it was a purple DVD yeah. case. It everybody had that shit in yeah. their house, dude. Yeah. I don't know why this movie was scary. It was weird. Well, it was really, really sad because <laughs> yeah. they like couldn't. They made. I think they they made him like with feelings or yeah. whatever, but he wasn't supposed to have them or something like that. And there was that scene where they're throwing the goo on that yeah. makes them look like skin. Yeah. I don't remember what the plot of the movie was though. Like he fell in. He fell I think in the love robot was trying shit. to. Yeah, he was trying to figure out life. And like people were getting older and dying and yeah, shit. And he was still alive. I might that might be a good revisit right now with yeah, all the weird AI stuff. That yeah. could be a good I'm, a good revisit. Dude, I'm gonna write yeah. it down. I'm gonna go watch it. Yeah, hundred percent right. That's a good weird revisit. <laughs> oh man, what the hell? I've never that seen that one X mocking the movie everybody always talks about too. The AI. I've never seen that either. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're talking about old movies. I uh, I, so I just want to watch like more action shit in general because, yeah. dude, I don't know if you've seen uh, Reacher. No, dude, it's, Neo, it's Tom Clancy. Is it? Yeah, Jack yeah. Reacher. Uh, yeah, so it's some book. It's, it's, based Jack on, it's based on The Killing Floor. Yeah, or something like that. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> but dude, it's funny because I feel like the producers were like, okay. Let's like let's take this dude and it's the guy that played Thad in Blue Mountain State. Oh fuck it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. like, let's take this dude and make him comically strong and yeah. beautiful. You know what I mean? Yeah. And ripped. And then we're gonna drop him in the middle of this like what would be like a juicy murder mystery, yeah. right? Like a juicy organized crime murder yeah. mystery. But he uh he he always just kicks everyone's ass. Like the, he never yeah. loses. And it's like, yeah, we yes. need that's what we need right now. Dude, just like and it's like very yeah. wrestling. Esque, yeah. you know, like in that way, yeah. and it's f- so funny because, like, in every episode, there'll be a scene where, like, four dudes are like, "Hey, you know, you shouldn't be looking around over here." Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's and and he like turns, yeah. they throw a bottle at him, and yeah. he turns around slow, and he always says something like, "When one of them, he, there, he's like, uh, he's like, I'm gonna, he's like, what are you gonna do about it?" And he's like, "I'm gonna put, I'm gonna." Uh, break three kids' hands right now, and he's like, "Oh, there's four of us," and he's like, "Well, one of you has to drive to the hospital." <laughs> like, it's just like one-liners, you know. That's and then, badass. And then dude. he just. And what I love about it is, it's not if he's gonna beat their ass. When it beats, it's how. Yeah. It's yeah, how yeah. is is he gonna smash the, his yeah. face into the car? It's like, like Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking Something Chuck I've Norris. Also, dude. haven't seen much. He's of, new but, Chuck Norris. Yeah, basically, yeah. There hasn't been a new Chuck Norris in a long time. Right. It was John Wick for a minute, but we need a TV Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's built like the Rock. Dude, Reacher is yeah, like built, it's like yeah, and he's just kick and, and he know he also is so smart and yeah. knows everything. He's like he was like twelve a.m. I can tell because the the dew on the yeah. leaves were you know was wet. Yeah, uh, and he's like he he's like a pro detective. Yeah. you know it's like you gotta watch that show. Yeah, it's like the wrestling of tr- of crime <laughs> crime dramas. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, look up uh, Spencer. What's Spencer Breslin doing now? That's what yeah. we that's what we gotta find out. Fucking Spencer dude, Breslin, dude. You think we can hang out with him? I think he's accessible to us. Yeah. I don't think he's like that. He's not famous. I think if we email, if we just DM, nobody's DMing Spencer Breslin right dude, now. Dude, look, is that his Instagram, the first one? Oh, he got a Twitter. Bro, let's get him on the pod. Oh, 20,000? Dude. Dude, Wait, I, is that I him? him up. Wait, can you see if that's for real him now? Oh, yeah, dude. It has to be. Yeah, that's oh, him, dude. We Look can at hit that him up. beard, Look, We bro. can hit him up. We yeah. can hit him up for sure, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're about to hang out with Spencer Breslin. We're like, bro, you should go back. You should go try to fix Bruce Willis. <laughs> Stacey Dash? <laughs> He's starring in the movie with Stacey Dash? Yo, let's go. I don't know who that is. You don't know Stacey Dash? I'm not good with movies and stuff. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. That's fair. You tell me what she oh, looks wait, familiar. From, she's from Clueless. Back in the day. And I think political I've seen, I think stuff I've seen now. that. Spencer Brett, he still looks the exact same. What yeah, is it no. with all these like guys that never really grow up? We were another time Progeria. on the pod. Yeah, look up uh, Beans from Even Stevens beans, again, dude. No, have you seen? Have you seen? Gross, have dude. you seen Beans recently? Beans is having a hard time. Have you seen him recently? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love this one picture of him that looks like he quit acting for a minute and started doing real estate up here <laughs> on the top with the purple. Yeah, look at that. The side by side. Like he just like you know what? I'm giving up acting. I have enough money yeah. from my child. Acting, I'm gonna start doing law. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> how about I sell you a home? He looks fine if he t- p- cuts the hair, but the bald spot yeah. that he was trying to run with—it's crazy that he's still short. That fucking sucks. It's crazy. <laughs> he is still that sucks, dude. 
They gave them fucking hormones. That's probably why. It's crazy. You think so? Dude, definitely. Really? They definitely gave them hormones in their fucking meals. Really? Like, snuck them in there. <laughs> like, we need him to be young forever. For breaking up pills and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, definitely. Oh, here, take a vitamin C. <laughs> like yeah, they turned him into that. Shit. They didn't. They were like, we're going to let him go bald. We're not going to worry about his hair. <laughs> yeah, what we need to do right now is make the shareholders happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah, dude, we need so we can hit up Spencer Breslin for sure. Dude, yeah, yeah, I'm totally hitting up Spencer Brez. Yeah, Spencer Brez, like dude. Spencey B, come hang <laughs> out, brother. Yeah, want to do a podcast? Let's just get him <laughs> fucked up and talk and tell us horror stories about being a child actor. Oh, about Mike Myers. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, did dude. Mike Myers make you call him Cat in a Hat the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was he? Yeah, was, was he fully in character, dude? Like uh, yeah. Andrew Cow, Andrew, uh, what is yeah. it? Uh, fucking, I forget his name now. Uh, uh, the Jim Carrey that was doing. Uh, oh yeah, and Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, Andy, they made him call him Andy. And then yeah. uh, like fucking, he was like thing one, thing two, biggest drunks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, thing two was always doing coke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. It's like that Oompa Loompa guy was there for some reason too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that movie sucked. Dude. The Cat in the Hat. Yeah, but I did just watch uh, Jim Carrey's. Wait. Oh, sorry. When's the last time you watched Cat in the Hat? All right, it's a long time ago. All right, dude. I think. Do you think it's good? Should I put it on the list? I think you should put it on the list. It's <laughs> a pretty revisit funny. is good it's for a revisit. Funny. It's pretty funny. Right. I think I've watched that movie a lot. Like as a kid, me Heard. and my brother. Heard. There was a part. What's his face? The gay guy from. Uh, Will and Grace, I don't, I don't remember. He's in the beginning, and he's like to the to the guy's mom, to their mom, to Spencey B's mom. He's like, "You're fired." <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Dude. It's All pretty right. funny. It's pretty funny. All right, we'll give it a revisit. I shouldn't it's crazy. Have talked to it. It's a really crazy movie. I did go back and watch uh, the Cat in the Hat, or excuse me, the Jim Carrey Grinch. Uh, Grinch. Yeah. And I gotta say, dude, like I always thought in my head it was like kind of corny and yeah. like. And like it wasn't as good as the original. Yeah. But you have to separate it completely from like the original one and yeah. be like, oh, this is like a Jim Carrey movie with a Grinch Fortnite skin on it. Yeah. Like that's what that <laughs> yeah. that's what that is. Literally, it's like, it's yeah. like liar liar. Yeah. Like if you look at it through that lens, yeah. I was like, this is incredible. That was how like all of Jim Carrey's movies were up until a point. And then back again, like uh up until a point he just was always Jim Carrey in a movie. Yeah. Did you ever know any of the crazy facts about that movie? What, about the, Jim, like the shit he had to go through for liar, for the liar. Grinch? Oh no! Dude, about look the up, makeup. Look and up, stuff? yeah, look up the fact, yeah. the crazy facts about the Jim Carrey Grinch. Because then you start to realize when when I read this shit, yeah. I was like, oh, that's why he's like losing his fucking mind right now because yeah. of shit like this, and like. Well, like it's it like the the numbers these some of these numbers are crazy. You also have to like imagine like the people he's talked to <laughs> and the people who he's been around. The things he's seen being in Hollywood for as long as he has yeah. and being as successful as he's been. Oh, dude, like so the weird. things he's seen, the and things there, he knows. And then there's that whole thing with his like wife that he like there was that weird thing with his wife, his oh, ex-wife. Oh, she suicided. Yeah, she did. But then, like, there, his her family was trying to sue him. Yeah, for like wrongful death or some shit. Like, yeah. he had something to do with it. Yeah, that shit was weird. Yeah, it's that's fucking here. Uh, go down to like some of the Jim Carrey's. See, I don't know if this is the right one. Um, Max is a bitch. No, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Max is actually a female dog. What? Damn it! Damn it! Fuck. Max is a bitch. What the hell? Uh, go to the makeup facts. Type in like makeup facts or something like that at the top. <laughs> Jim Carrey spent 92 days in Grinch makeup. <laughs> <laughs> God Imagine damn. how fucked up that would be. Three days. I heard it, days, it said that two hours, it said in hours. one of these that uh, it took eight hours to do the makeup every day, yeah. and so it's like, how long are you acting? Yeah, like after that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so you're sitting in a, in a chair, and that would be so like, yeah. like I can't be on an airplane for like three hours. I'm nah. like, start getting kicky legs. And <laughs> yeah, shit, you know what I mean. Yeah, I bet makeup's way better now. Yeah, it keeps growing. Two and a half hours. He's scrolling. Oh, whatever. It's not showing. There was like a list of facts. But yeah. It's, like, it's all good. Fuck it. Jim Carrey was in the chair for a long time and he's fucking crazy now. You ever watch Man on the Moon, though? The Andy mm -hmm. Kaufman? That's oh, maybe I did. S I don't know if I've actually. You ever watched watch the Truman Show? Yes. The Truman yeah. Show's. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty good. 
precursor to man. You, like you watch the Truman Show, and then you watch Man on the Moon, and you're like, wait, are, are people kinda... really filming us? <laughs> yeah, dude, have you watched that show, The Curse? Recently? No. Oh, with, with uh, Nathan? Nathan Fielder. No. It's like you're there. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. It's so weird. You should check it out. It's weird. They're like making this like yeah, shitty dude. HGTV. I like, hate hard shows. Hard shows. Yeah. Like I just want a simple show. Yeah. Like you're talking about Reacher. Sounds yeah. perfect. Yes. Yeah. That's, <laughs> like, what, that's why I like it so much yeah. though. You know, TV's too, they're making it too complicated now. They are. They're trying to force the like continuation instead of like making it grow. You know. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, and like they're like, what is what is Stranger Things even about right now? Like, what's gonna Stranger happen? Stranger Things isn't five? about nothing. Yeah, <laughs> Stranger Things is just trash television. Yeah, it's, it's a, just special effects and yeah. fucking. They throw in a Metallica song and yeah. like a like a fucking. You it's know. actually a very bad show. <laughs> I've you, never how, watched it. <laughs> why do you think that for your standards? Why well, do you think it's because a bad like show? it started out as a show that made fun of like B B shows and stuff. And anything based off of like a thing where it's like we're going to make fun of this thing, or it's going to be based off of when you when your base is a bad thing, <laughs> if you haven't <laughs> figured it out, like because the guys who made Stranger Things were always like B movie, B C movie guys, so they never like they just I guess they figured it out, but like yeah, I don't think it's any better than fucking Mindhunter, like you know, like yeah, <laughs> Netflix I thought that was okay. Really, Mindhunter was all right, no. I don't know. I didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, they kind of just edge you on serial killers, and you're yeah. just like, "Ooh, will they? T- will, like, are they going to talk to one of the big ones next?" And yeah, then it's like not that, not him. Yeah, the Jeffrey Dahmer show slap. But. Yeah, nah, dude. I hate Netflix's formula for their shows and stuff. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. What I hate mean? it. The formula. They have a formula What's for every formula? show. It's like a uh, you. They get you interested, and then like uh, nothing happens. <laughs> And then 10 minutes before something happens, they're like, wait till this happens. <laughs> and then it happens. And then you're like, whoa, I got to keep watching. I got to see what happens on this next episode. They said more stuff. And then the same thing happens until the end. And at the end, there's no resolution. Yeah. Nobody wins. Nobody loses. Everybody from every Netflix documentary is still in jail. <laughs> or they yeah. went back to jail. Like nothing. My girl's been like hooked on these fucking 2020s. And uh, and there a lot of them are just like that too, where yeah. they just end on like they're, they're like, well, we don't know any new information. Yeah. Like they tell you all the shit that we've already heard about Ted Bundy. Yeah. They're yeah. like new Ted Bundy information, and it's and they like save it to the end. And then it's not really. It's like a letter from yeah. one of the girls that wanted to bang him. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like we knew the bitches were sending Ted Bundy letters. Like that's not new information. Yeah, Ted Bundy's a pimp, dude. Yeah, we know we know Bundy He's fucking had it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it sucks. He's a pimp though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sucks what he did, but I mean, bro, the the audacity of like sneaking out of prison. Dude, is there more? I can roll another one if not. Uh, just There's a little just bit over here. Just what's in that? Yeah, I okay. have a little pipe too in here. Ooh, if you want to just go old school, Damn, fifth dude. grade. You want to go fifth dude. grade on the on us, dude? Yeah, so, <laughs> should have uh, brought my Dragon Ball bong. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have a Dragon Ball bong? Yeah, it's a four-star Dragon Ball. Hell yeah. It's from Hemper. I fucking forgot what I was talking about. Do you like Dragon Ball? Uh, I grew up watching some Dragon Ball. Okay. I, I think I like the games more than I like the show, really? dude. I was a Budokai kid. When when that came out, that was my shit. Or like, three? playing the Majin. Which one? Yeah, Budokai 3, dude. 2 and 3, yeah. where you could do the Cell games and, like, Majin Buu. And I think they had, like... Tony, a- download the emulator. <laughs> 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 and get the ROMs, bro. Yeah, get the ROMs, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're about to play. <laughs> yeah. You've inspired us here, Lemaire. Uh The first thing you said when you walked in was, where's the video games at? We need to make that happen, so I'm gonna get video games. Dude. We could probably just plug them into here and play them before, or after every pods chill right here. Pod, every chill place needs a video game console, dude. I think we should go retro only in the studio, though. What do you think about like an N64? Do you think that we should get one of those fancy new things that has like all the games loaded that you just plug an HDMI in, like, or should we just should I bring the Xbox Series X from the house? Like, what are, what should we do in here? Do I don't think? know. I, I play games, so I like to play new stuff. Yeah, I do too. But, like, I guess for, like, most people, retro games aren't even, like, retro games aren't bro, even retro. Can we talk, so can we, bro, bro, can we, can we, can yeah. we talk about that? Yeah. Can we, can we, can we uh, do a hot take on the whole retro gaming thing? Yeah, it I sucks. think, well, I think what, I think it's chasing the dragon. 
Yeah. I think Ooh. it's chasing the dragon. Like, and then when you get, when you're like, oh, bro, I just got, I won, I auctioned this fucking, you know, uh, like see through purple uh, Game Boy color on on eBay, and I just got Pokemon Silver, Red, Blue, and Yellow. I can't yeah. wait to play them all. And you like start playing, and you're like, oh, they're all the fucking same. Like they're all the, this is the same game. Like they hoos- they always, Husker dude yeah, me when yeah. I was a kid, and yeah. made me think that these were different. No, they're like, a little different, but they, not like different are. enough where you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. If you buy all the games, I don't know why you buy all the games. Any dude, one thing I've learned from I've been watching a lot of like game reselling videos, trying to figure out the system, and the system is like. You buy the games that don't sell well, because then in twenty years people are gonna be like, "Remember this shitty game?" And you're gonna be like, "Yeah, I got it's it like for two thousand dollars." Yeah, it's like a <laughs> yeah. cult following. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. But yeah, the retro game thing, it's like you think you want it, and then it's not as good when you fucking no. light it up again, and you're like, "Oh, my childhood looked like this. Bro, my no childhood re- looked like ass." No retro game is as good as Fortnite. Ooh, not a single Tony, one. Tony, Tony gave Tony gave you a look, dude. Dude. Tony's, I, I put Tony Fortnite, had beef with that statement. I put Fortnite up against any game from the past, like easy. <laughs> Ooh, really? Like if if you play, if we play Halo, all right. New Halo is pretty tight, bro. Nah, they just did an update. Uh, it's pretty we, cool. Nah, you played it recently. Halo Infinite. I yeah, hate Halo. Pretty, okay. Halo stinks. Well, you're just a hater. Halo's man. overrated. <sighs> the best shooter ever on Xbox is Call of Duty. Call of Duty okay, should be bought by I don't Microsoft. Know, I love COD. I like the Call okay. of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty should be owned by Microsoft because it's always the best on Xbox. It's, it's the best by, Xbox shooter. Shooter. Uh, Activision just bought it. No, uh, Microsoft just bought Activision. Right. So it yeah. is. Yeah, it is. Owned yeah. By, yeah. They oh own, yeah, that's what yeah. I think. Microsoft also has like a game monopoly now because they own Minecraft, they own Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Starcraft. <clears throat> Hearthstone, <Do> you, <laughs> Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of have a monopoly now. But yeah. like nobody Sony is nah, 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 nah. Okay. But they do Oof. shit they do shit better. Xbox? Low key. Mm, all right. The games are the games are good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a game. I'm not a gamer, <laughs> bro. That, that's what I was gonna say next yeah. is like hold your thought you're just about to have, but yeah. uh I feel like with the new games, like people yeah. seem like they're like I have friends that just they hate every they hate they find something to hate about a game. Yeah. I'm pretty easy to please. Like with Starfield, everyone was talking shit about it, and I was like, I thought it was pretty fun. It may, it's you know getting you stoked on the next fucking Sky, Skyrim thing they're gonna yeah. make or whatever in ten years. But yeah. it's like, you know, people are like, oh, the you know new GTA Five, it's probably gonna suck. GTA Six or GTA yeah. Six probably gonna. And I'm like, dude, why are you guys hating? Like why? I remember it was like any game that like we were just talking the other night about like un, how Tony Hawk's Underground probably yeah. the best the best. One of the best Tony games of all time. Underground, the original Underground. Yeah, the first one, like where yeah. you could get off the board for the yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, you're and, like, right. Jump you're on right. the houses, yeah, yeah. and there was the storyline. Yeah. This guy we're talking to knew like the the character Eric yeah. Sparrow, that douchebag yeah. guy in the beginning, that like he pretends to be your boy and then cuts up yeah. the footage to make it look like it's him that gets <laughs> yeah. the crazy jump. Yeah, and then he gets sponsored, and then yeah. like the whole game is like trying to beat like beat him yeah. and get famous. Yeah, I'm like yes, yeah. dude. A gritty Tony yes. Hawk game. Yeah. That, there needs to be a new one of those. You know? <laughs> but people are just like not as easy to please with games anymore. No, it's like, I don't know what you want, though. dude. It's not. What do you want? Well, here's the thing: nobody's making games people want anymore. Everyone's making games that they can make money on, mm. like uh, like monetized little purchases and shit. Dude, yes. I was watching a video today on the new Suicide Squad game. Uh, they're making a Suicide Squad game. The game, the people that made the Batman Arkham City games, yeah. Which those are great games, right? Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum, Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight. Yeah, those are all really good games. Yeah, but like the thing in those games is like, all right, okay, okay. In Arkham Knight, when it came out, you got to see like uh, they 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 like started to figure out ways to kind of make money in the game. So then they took that from Arkham Knight, and then like uh, EA made like Anthem, which is a game where you can like free roam around as in suit and stuff, but you like have to upgrade your suit through time sinks and stuff and like missions and it's a, ba- it's a Batman game? No, this oh. is a, it's just a suit game. I'm just okay. naming things that are gonna be similar like the oh, Justice okay, League. Okay, game. Okay, yeah. Or not Justice League, the Suicide Squad. Just like stuff things with, they took. Yeah. They took you know Destiny? Yeah, yeah. How they took things from Destiny and things from Anthem and they put it in the Suicide Squad game. So it's like a sh- it's a looter shooter basically. Uh huh. When like you have to buy loot boxes, it's like buy costumes, and then it doesn't even look like when you like get good, it looks fun. 
but like from the video, the guy who was doing the demo, he wasn't good at it. It didn't look fun. So you have to pay to get good enough to even have fun. And Probably. Play the game. God, so annoying. Yeah, that's and annoying. then they'll be like, "Oh, the game's free," but like you have to or whatever. Is it going to be a free to play? No, <laughs> no, it's going to be a six dollar game. And when did games w- go seventy dollar game, bro? When did when? Okay, we I, need to have a okay. gamers a gamers like board of commissions or some shit. Yeah, where like you need to you need to ask the gamers what what, what we're well, playing because it's like come on, I'll 70, be honest. seventy bucks for a game. To be fair, here's here's okay. When did it go up from fifty? I'll come give on. you the. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To be fair, okay, okay, okay. So like, uh, uh, I think games used to be more expensive. Like during the PlayStation One era, they were probably like a hundred dollars. I think. What. I think so. Fact check. I don't yeah, know you got a fact check. I don't know. I think so. Do you think that originally there were more? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Because you think they were just shipping it from Japan and it was harder to do that. Really? I don't know. I think games were more expensive back in the day. How much? I feel like the consoles were like 600 bucks. Like the PS2 or PS3. Yeah. The, or, PS3 was for sure 600 bucks. Yeah. Oh, 50? <laughs> they were 49.99. How much did the PS One cost? Three hundred, which is fair. Inflation price would be five hundred and eighty-one bucks yeah, right now. It's, Holy it's shit. cheap. It's more expensive than the damn PS Five. Which, like, think about how much a PS Five would cost around inflation in like twenty years. Dude, yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. All right, so I was completely wrong about that. <laughs> but like, think about it. if it was fifty dollars in the, I was going to say it went down for PS Two, but it went for fifty. In PlayStation One, sixty four era, it, it went to sixty. The sixty four, it went to sixty around the GameCube, PS two era. Mm-hmm. It was still fifty with the N sixty four. GameCube was stuff. hard. GameCube, GameCube is was, hard, dude. GameCube is hard still. Yeah. Like, that's what we should get in here. That's the perfect blend of retro and and next gen, dude. I feel like the GameCube still still bops. Or yeah. does it fall under your criteria of like a shitty retro console that people say is still good? Yeah, there's. What do you think? Were you just going to play Mario Kart and Smash? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, then give me an answer. What do I put in here, then? So we're going to the Xbox. Yeah. Call we're gonna, of Duty. We're gonna we're gonna get, you want Call of Duty We're going to get here. through it. We're going to get through it. We're okay. going to find the answer. Okay. We, we got a question, though. Yeah. When did the games become $70? Yes. And I want to justify why I think it's fair that games, physical copies of games cost $70. Okay. Like, because uh, it, it went for, fi- it was 60 during the PS2 era. It was 60 during the PS3 era. And the PS4 era was $60. So that's 25 years where the price was the same. Most of our lives, games would cost sixty dollars, but production costs have gone up. That's why they do all that bullshit uh, microtransactions. Right. It's because they don't make enough off the cost of the game. So if they do charge a little bit more and they get rid of the microtransactions, I'm okay with that. Oh, that's okay. That's a good. But the digital version should cost less. Yes, because we're not the, paying for the plastic and yeah, all that bullshit. Digital version should be fifty, sixty dollars. But how much? Yeah, but how much do you even think that that affects the, their bottom line anyway? Because they're getting those at such a low price from like bull, CDs, crazy. But they're like shipping and then probably yeah. like advertising. Yeah, big, big, big pallets of games yeah. and shit. That shit adds up. Yeah. And then when the game doesn't sell, they got to bury all those copies of games. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do they do with that, dude? Dude, they do bury them. They just bury them in the no desert. No way. Yeah. So was, still, in time, yeah. we're going to find... Do you know about the E.T. game? They made a... Oh, this is a good one. All right. Atari made an E.T. game in like the 80s, I think, whenever E.T. happened. They made an Atari game for it. It was so bad, and it didn't sell at all, so they buried a bunch of copies in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> right? Really? Yeah, and for thirty years, some guys just been looking for him, and they just like found him like five or he ten years him? ago. They found him, and they were like, "Yes." He's all me, 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 me. He's like searching yep. with one of those things underground. Nineteen eighty three. Oh, it was because Atari was going through. They were like, uh, they're running out of money. They're going out of business, so they just buried all their. Uh, What's that top question? Is it worth anything? <laughs> Oh my God! See what I'm saying? Extraterrestrial Atari cartridges netted over. Oh, that was for 900 copies, 108 thousand dollars. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's so crazy. He found them. Yeah. How did he? They got to do like a documentary about. They did. That. Oh, they did. Yep, What's that called? It's on. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It, I can't I'll remember it what it's on, but it's on something. It was on this. It was either on G4 or fucking <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, but I watched it. It was interesting. Atari Game Over. That's oh, Atari it. Game Over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Maybe I've heard yeah. of that, actually. I think it is Netflix, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
But we don't like Netflix anymore, right? We can't watch Netflix shows. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't say that. I like no, Netflix. They just formulate. They got to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> get a new formula. It's crazy Marvel to has have... to get a new formula. Everything has to get a new formula. What do you think the new formula is? I don't know, but you the Save know. the Cat bullshit stinks. Take it away. Save the Cat? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, Save the Cat. They throw it out and a fireman saves it or something? Where they like, uh, no, they like, yeah. And they, it, it's basically, you tell the beginning, the ending of the movie in the beginning. Like uh, you like Jack Reacher? You ever watch? No, not like Tarantino. Oh. Tarantino has a good formula. Yeah, he has a great formula. Yeah, but like uh, uh, it's like a. There was a movie on. Uh, it wasn't Jack. It was one of the Tom Clancy movies. Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy. Tom movies Clancy. With uh, uh, Andy is it Andy from Parks and Rec? Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you I, see it? I no, no, okay. but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, in the be- way beginning of the movie. Because like aliens or some shit come down, and the way beginning of the movie, they're like, uh, oh, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow war, yeah. yeah. And the way beginning of the movie, they're like, volcanoes, you got to know about volcanoes. They're in like school, literally teaching them about volcanoes. And then at the end of the movie, he's like, motherfucking volcano, we need to get them here. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's bullshit, yeah. And that happens in all movies now, like. <laughs> All the movies. Every single movie is like that. They tell you the ending of the movie in the first five to ten minutes. Why? Why do they do that? I don't know. And then they're all just like fucking, it's all music and transitions. There's no substance in movies anymore. I like the Barbie movie. CGI and shit. The Barbie movie was cool. I love. I fucked with the Barbie. Movie. The Barbie movie was pretty cool. It was cool because but, it was kind of like you. It's like they knew that dudes would be dragged to it, yeah. so they kind of made it like like four, four dudes. dudes. Yeah, a little. <laughs> and like like when the King yeah. guys were like, I can't remember it now. They yeah. just had like cowboy outfits yeah. on. Yeah. They're like, we're fucking men we're now. Men. Woo! When we, they brought we the run everything. Yeah. yeah, he's like, we run everything. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was. It was like a. There was a lot of like bullshit in it though too like the elvis movie like there's a lot of bullshit in that movie i thought too. that was like, tight but like it just looked it's cool, all I just guess. there's so much like fast time tight. filler in it though none of it's like actually like 10 years later yeah it's 10 it's like five minute transitions where they play a whole song there's like four or five of it in a movie did you watch the one that just came out that was supposed to make him look like shit basically elvis it's well isn't it about his no. priscilla yeah it's about his know. daughter what's it on I think I don't know yeah. Max or something, so, uh, but yeah. it's like uh, they. Ba- I, I from what I heard, like his daughter's all mad because it makes him look like a piece of shit. And yeah. the director was like, "Well, he kind of was a piece of shit, yeah. so we're gonna show the other side of it." Because yeah. the the movie that came out that we're t- just talking about that yeah. one it kind of makes it makes you feel bad for him yeah. like oh elvis you know it's yeah. like well he did marry like a <laughs> fucking 10 year old yeah you know? Dude, you know what's crazy i'm talking a lot of shit i gotta write a movie <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah you should you should <laughs> well yeah you, sh- you could write a movie elvis did marry if you were gonna write a movie off the t- off top so what would it be a comedy do you want to okay what okay. would your comedy be off the top <laughs> I do have an idea. Me and my friend are already working on this one. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. It's called, <laughs> it's called Legal Guardian, the dad who stepped up. <laughs> <laughs> we're making fun of 90s action comedies, 90 action movies like you were talking about. Yeah. We're making fun of those in this. Like uh, the guy's a spy. He's homeless. He uh, <laughs> kill. He saves his wife or whatever. Yeah. So he, they get – It's oh, he pretends to be homeless. He's on a mission. The lady's like uh, – she's a uh, – his nurse, the lady mm-hmm. he marries, but she's like, my husband, I don't know, he's gone, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But he saves her. He's like, I'm actually, and she's like, oh, well, me and my kids, here you go. They fall in love. And then she gets killed at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Send it, dude. Yeah. Give this man a pilot, dude. <laughs> yeah. You should make, You can make it a shitty Netflix series, dude, dude with no I'm ending. Gonna, some, nah, I'm making a movie, brother. <laughs> I'm making a movie, I'm dude. making an hour. I'm make, I want it to be 75 minutes or an hour and a half. Like, I want it to be an old school 90s movie where you just not like that is disposable but you watch it you're like that's hilarious <laughs> like yeah. you know like i don't know well that's, then years later it becomes iconic because it's like kind of corny i just wanted to be funny dude. Yeah, dude that's all it's going to be i had yeah. a funny idea for like a guy who is like a it's like a classic like slapsticky shitty anchorman yeah. comedy which i feel like we kind of desperately need more of that are actually funny yeah and like take risks but it's basically like uh, like a decorated sports commentator dude yeah. named like Chip Camlin or something yeah. funny and he uh, he's like a John Madden <laughs> kind of guy yeah. that everyone loves and then he slips up and says like you know 
I don't know. Kansas does he, City, yeah, fat capital of the world. Yeah, he says something like <laughs> fucked up or something. Yeah, it should be a baseball announcer. Yeah, 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 he says yeah. something really fucked up. He's a sports announcer yeah. that everyone loves, and then he his life is ruined, and then he has to go and uh, become he becomes a strip club DJ. That's like, all right, everybody, like give it up for Cinnamon coming mm-hmm. to the stage. Yeah. Like that's where he goes, and like people are like, wait, is that Chip Campbell yeah. on the on the mic over How there? How does he save his life? I, I well, like I don't know. The ratings go down or something, and they need him to come back. Yeah. Maybe I don't. I'm, I don't know. You like, know what I mean? I'm not really stick. like writing this oh, idea, but dude, I think it, I've, we're writing I've had, it right now. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're gonna do it, dude. Dude, he fucking the story of Chip Campbell. Yeah, he, he, uh they need it's like chip we need you to come back yeah, and he's, he's like, like no i'm not going back like football never football yeah. wasn't there for me yeah. why should i be there for football yeah. they you know? let me say whatever i want here yeah. <laughs> well and maybe he comes back and starts saying just wild shit yeah. and then that's what makes people you know shit yeah. that would make people like uncomfortable today or like make yeah. people offended he just starts and people are like yeah and it's like football's back or they hire a guy who comes in and says wilder shit than chip does but yeah. like uh the ratings go up but then he's still like a menace, so like he does like yeah. start. He actually starts to become a problem, so the ratings go, like, <laughs> the ratings go up in a bad way. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know? a, yeah, like, yeah. They're like, well, uh, we have too many white supremacist listeners yeah. now. We gotta fucking get yeah, Chip back. This isn't good. <laughs> yeah, and then Chip comes back. All the black people come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need just, more diversity. I just love the idea of him wearing like a fake fur coat, like yeah. like drink, like just being an alcoholic living in the back of the strip club. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then like is showing his everyday life. He like wakes up with two strippers yeah. uh hits the alarm moves yeah. over some like corn chips you ever see blades of glory yeah yeah yeah, yeah okay it's That's- like chad michael michael <laughs> yeah. like we need more of those I'm covered pro- in piss one of like more of those protagonists dude that are yeah <laughs> i haven't seen that one in a long time dude that's one that i need to rewatch again yeah I, I just, don't know if it's as funny, but I yeah. I just I, rewatched Talladega, and boy, does it still smack! Slaps, it smacks yeah. so hard, still, <laughs> still so good. Sweet day, baby Jesus. Sweet, Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah. Sweet baby Jesus. Uh, seven pound, six ounce baby Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> shake and bake. <laughs> Like, we're not doing shake and bake anymore. I hate you. <laughs> you. You stole my wife. My, you're living in my house. <laughs> Why am I even talking to you? <laughs> you're still mad about that? Yeah. <laughs> that was two days that ago. Was- <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Those new, those comedies got to come back, bro. Yeah. How long have we been going, Tony? That's hour 27. Hour 27, bro? Shit, we could keep it rolling if you want, bro. Yeah. Um, we could probably wrap it up actually. We I, I'm trying to do these I'm trying to do these shorter cuz I always go for like 2 hours and yeah. and like I think it's fucking up my watch time and shit. And people don't <laughs> people don't have that much time to listen to me fucking just talk to people. So. Dude, whatever. I don't know. I'm having a great time hanging yeah, out with you though. Fun, man. Dude, yeah. Do you want to watch some shit really quick and then we can wrap it up? Let's do that. Yeah. You want to watch some shit that we pulled? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not afraid. Oh yeah, yeah. Guy. What yeah, what was that? It was a guy. <laughs> yeah, he has it pulled up. I'm not afraid. We I don't think I've ever this. seen this. We yeah, talked we were about ta- this on panties in the mouth. You guys should listen to Panties in the Mouth. Panties in the Mouth. Spotify, patreon.com slash PITM. Yeah. There's some D&D games up there. I still got to put up the final episode, but Shane's not giving me the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Why? He's yeah. like, once you just be productive or yeah, something? Yeah, I don't know. It's working. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Somebody told me that you, like, they said you were getting too high on Matt and Shane's or something. Is, it, yeah. is that something that happened? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, and they were like, that's bro. not why I got fired. But yeah. did you actually get fired? I got fired once. Yeah, because I uh, I lost an episode with Josh Adam Myers. It was, it was I just we don't pull, have to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, I pulled the SD card out of the camera too quick. I didn't uh, stop recording. That's all that happened. <laughs> and also, he was out of the frame the whole camera, and I wasn't like, "Dale, dude, get in the camera." Yeah. I was like, I was like, "Oh man, yeah. <laughs> oh, what do I do?" Yeah, the whole time uh, I was just like paralyzed. But I, I should, always, yeah, I always have. I there. help people with this. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. Fucking, I'm like yeah. Tony. Just stop us. Tony, just tell me. Literally, just say it, dude. Every time, like, hey guys. Uh, get in the frame a little bit, scooch in. Yeah, yeah. Now that nobody would be mad it, at that. Yeah, yeah. Now that we've yeah. been out of frame the whole yeah. time. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's in the airport. Uh, yeah, we talked about it. On oh Paris. yeah, yeah. We he's in the airport. He uh, he's uh, he thinks there's they're trafficking children on a plane. But like, watch it. He'll start yelling about it. So he quotes his Eminem song. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> Oh my god. Do the storm. Everybody turn their video on. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody come take my hand this way. We're together. It's like the worst Eminem song, too. Yeah, I know, right? Everybody 
Come take my hand. But can you imagine? He went there and he was like, these guys are going to help me. Everybody's going to hear me sing this song. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of radio head. <laughs> oh, the playlist is fire, Dude, honestly. Know, right? <laughs> He's trying to get him up, though. Very right there. <laughs> Go ahead, pull your gun and put a bullet through my head. Oh my god, dude. He got his phone. <laughs> it's hooked up with the charger in his back. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this now playing. <laughs> this editor is funny. Wait, he played the song? No, they're just like saying. They're just saying his playlist. He's the one that's gonna track all those sexual girls that were trafficked right there on that plane. All those sexual girls? Club. You want me to name the club? Deja Vu? Everybody, there's girls from that plane going to Club Deja Vu to dance. That are being trafficked from around the world. <laughs> See? Damn. I'm not that's afraid. Get taken! Here you go. What did he cool say? I'm thing. not afraid! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just can't take it! Everybody! <laughs> take my hand! Clinical psychologist. Do, do, do the storm. Everybody! I'd go up there and be like, let's go, dude. Let's storm this plane. Yeah, to the cop, dude. Pigs. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's like throwing out these jets. He's done, dude. He's pissed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's tired of the Chinese too. Shout out to Detroit. Yeah, shout out to Quick. Here he comes. This guy's like, come on, man. Look, dude, I'm with you. Let's help him. Let's go take care of these girls. <laughs> that, why is that guy? Come on, man. That guy calmed him down so quick. He just wanted yeah, one person just, to bro down with him. He bro. needed to be heard. He did. Yeah, he just wanted yeah. one guy to fucking get what he was saying. Yeah. Dude. Dude, he's like, now dude, the cops I, are behind him. <laughs> he's like, dude, I'm on all the same Reddit pages as you. Yeah. Like, I totally get where you're coming from, dude. Yeah, bro, we can't do that here, though. Yeah, yeah we can't. Yeah, yeah we kind of, yeah. we gotta, we gotta keep it chill. This bro, makes us yeah. look bad. We gotta keep it on the chain, bro. Yeah, yeah. You gotta pick a better playlist, man. Yeah. You can't be throwing out these these M -M B tracks, <laughs> throwaways. You can't be. You can't do that. Come take my hand. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for coming on, Lamar. Oh yeah, dude. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, yeah. Plug your shit again. Yeah. At Lamar Lee. Uh, at L E M A I R E L E E on all social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pornhub, many bits, <laughs> OnlyFans, everywhere. Uh, <laughs> you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> dude, how else do you think I keep such a lavish lifestyle? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dropping soon. You're banking yeah. episodes on the OnlyFans? Yeah, I just put things on my bow. That's nice. No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Panties in the Mouth podcast. Yes, Panties in the Mouth. I'm not there. They got a white lady to replace me. <laughs> You guys got to go listen to it because I sent you and not because she's there. <laughs> I swear to God, if they blow up when she's there, I'll be so oh, mad, man. dude. They're like, oh, man, we're not God. moving to Austin anymore. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Well, thanks for coming yeah, on. You, and I uh, appreciate you, man. Yeah, have a good day. Run the outro. You are listening to Gorgas, you idiot.